Hi, I'm a software applications engineer here at Renishaw, and I'm on the stand here to, to say a few words about this demo that the guys have set up, because it includes lots of great Renishaw hardware and software. So we have a, an NC4 tool setter on the machine, and we're programming that using the Inspection Plus cycles. So throughout the demo, you'll see a couple of tool setting measurements occurring. We also have an RMP600 touch trigger probe, and we're programming that again with Inspection Plus, but this time we're using the Set and Inspect uh, software suite to program the cycles. So Set and Inspect is a, like a GUI programming tool uh, that we can use to guide through the steps to easily, more easily um, configure the arguments to the macro cycles rather than programming longhand. I'm using the program building builder functionality here and we can click into the cycles and uh, edit the settings um, via that. The measurement on the machine here is doing an axis set style measurement over a sphere where it measures the sphere at different um, table positions and this way we can calculate the pivot point on the machine. So both the uh, NC4 and the uh, RMP600 uh, are reporting measurement data to the reporter app on the machine. This is the way that we can kind of record measurement data at the machine itself. We then also have a OSP60 sprint scanning probe, and this is being programmed using the CNC plugin software suite. So here the CNC plugin is using the blade toolkit to measure the BLISC. Um, so all this measurement data is then being collected uh, within Reporter at the machine, but we also have Renishaw Central set up on the stand, and this is connected to all the machines, which allows us to uh, collect data from multiple machines. Because this uh, CNC has a Windows-based control with a web browser, we're able to view the Renishaw Central dashboards here at the machine. So this allows us to view the like, neighboring machines, as well as this machine itself. So here I've just clicked in to see this CNC machine itself with the tool setting and touch trigger probing data being reported. I'm also able to look at the neighboring CMM measurement data. Now this is important here because we have intelligent process control software set up to uh, take measurement data from the CMM and report this back to the machine tool. Uh, so this is again programmed through the uh, Renishaw Central web app. And we've configured this just to use one measurement off the CMM and update one tool I've set on the machine. So I'll just show you where those settings are now. So here we've paired a, a measuring machine with a manufacturing machine. It pulls up the program from the CMM and lists the measurement characteristics. I've then picked one of these to use uh, to control the tool offset. So here we're looking at tool uh, 20x, and we're, there's a few parameters to control this. Um, we're running this in the auto mode, which means it is directly sending the update um, with each measurement. So if I just go to the um, Mazak tool data screen here, the tool 20x, you can see that the wear uh, diameter offset is being updated. Okay, that's all for today, so thanks for watching.